Hi everyone, it's me, Sunny Jordan. I hope that you are doing well today. So I um, didn't want to go to bed without, or in my day without fulfilling my commitment to first myself and then also to someone who needs to hear this message. I um, simply um, have had a hell of a day. So um, as you may or may not know, I am a mother full time. I am a um, I am a single mother at that. I work for a university where I mentor about a hundred students each week. Mondays are always my long days as well as Tuesday. And I also homeschool full time. It's been a hell of a day. So today was actually the first day of going back to homeschool. And I will say that sometimes you just can't plan for certain things. No matter how hard you try, you just can't plan for people, other people's attitudes, other people's moods, what someone might do, what someone might say. You just can't. And I really had a lot of introspective um, today. I really was taking a lot of time to look at self and how I respond to different things that are going or that's moving around me, how I respond to things that when I'm in it. And um, as we know, I have been conducting review preview. And today what I learned is um, I can only control me. I learned that I really am going to need to do a great deed of prayer and meditation in the mornings to set the tone for my day. I learned that I can't do everything. I truly had a breakdown today. Have you been there? Like one of those days where you just simply just, you like, damn, I'm done with this shit. I mean, that's just be real. I'm done with it. I'm tired. I am I just can't move on. And, you know, people say you can't quit. You can't do this. You have to come to a realization you can do what you can do. No matter how many motivational quotes are out there, how many gurus out there, coaches out there cheering you on, when shit hits the fan and you're tired, you have to be real with yourself. And I'm being real. I had a hell of a day. But guess what? I made it through. I'm able to put on this lipstick, this popping MAC lipstick today. Not my Mary Kay, but my MAC gloss. Um, Just... Because I wanted to just end the day on a good note. And just say that I'm a survivor. Yes, I'm a survivor of all the things that could have gone wrong in this day. Okay, enough about being negative. I feel like I had to be real, though. Because a lot of times it's like you hear people talking about all these things that you have to do. And to get to this place and that place. But no one's really telling you the stuff that you're going through day in and day out to get to your place. It's some stuff that you got to go over, paths that you got to take, mountains you got to climb, go valleys you got to go under. And it's hard. And it's definitely hard when you're trying to do it on your own, when you're trying to do it without the a greater source um, coming to you. So it can be hard. But something that really stood out in my day, I want to see. I had a lot of good, strong points. I'm trying to look at my notes because I didn't want to miss telling you this. Mm. One thing I want to say is the point where you are breaking or about to quit is more than likely the point that's going to be your greatest strength and where you're going to find your greatest strength. Um, like I said today, I was going through this little mental, emotional breakdown. My son, he just wasn't doing what I was asking him to do. And I found myself saying things I shouldn't say. I found myself getting upset. I found myself crying. I found myself an emotional basket case. I found myself picking up the phone, calling my mom. I found myself doing all the things that probably were not in parenting one-on-one, right? Um, and so it was at that point where I was about to break down. I was like, okay, you know what? The hell with this um Homeschool, but then I had to realize that it's not about me. It's really about my son. It's about him getting to the next place in his life. But I have thought and I have admitted, I admit, made an, I admitted to myself that, you know what? I can't do it all. 
and I have to find another resource, another place. Oops, I got blue hands. That's a whole nother story. Hell of a day. I was making some, uh, <laughs> if you listened to any of my videos before, I was making a Q-tip. I, I will share this with you and show it to you in future I was making a Q-tip flower, quit taking it personal flower, and it required food um, dye, and you see it dyed my hands. So that's what you get today. Or you can say I have green thumbs. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, that's where it was at today. Anyway, so I want to encourage you and tell you that the place where you're breaking down, the point where you're about to quit, that is the point that you're going to find your greatest strength. Um, so don't give up. Don't quit. You may have to step away. You may have to say it's been a hell of a day. You may have to share with a friend, but I encourage you to pray too. And I'm encouraging myself to pray a lot more. We have to get a lot more focused and centered. Really. The truth is we do have to, to not own this thing out by ourselves. We can't, the journey doesn't just depend on us. There's other things, other resources, other people that are there for you, but you have to be honest with yourself and receive it. Um, I think my next video will be on the next point that I got. I just wanted to give you encouragement to say, if you had a hell of a day, it's okay. I'm happy that you made it to the end of your day. I encourage you for a great day tomorrow, and I look forward to sharing with you even more greatness and Hey, I hope you have a great night. Remember to shine bright. Follow me, The Sunny Jordan, on Instagram. You can continue to follow my YouTube video channel. You can follow me on Facebook, Sunny Jordan, Shante Jordan, SMJ Speaks, whatever. If you see me on the street, holler at me. <laughs> no, all is well. Be blessed.